student, I'm Mr. Leung. This video is the third video clip that we use the human circulatory system as an example to demonstrate how can we use the method of scientific investigation to construct the knowledge, to construct the concept on biology. So how can we use this method to study or to do revision on biology? So now we are going to use the comparison of the heart uh, muscle thickness as an example to do so. So first of all, remember the first step of the scientific investigation is observation. So imagine you are a scientist, you are uh, going to dissect the human heart. So after the dissection, you can see that there are four heart chambers in our heart so we can name the chambers so two of them are the atrium and two of them are the ventricles so after the naming so we should know that what is the basic function of these four chambers so for the atrium uh, the singular form and the plural form atria so we know that okay, the heart chambers they are going to receive and pump blood so uh, one thing I would like to remind you all is that uh, when we talk about the heart, many students they may uh, know that oh the heart is uh, uh, responsible for pumping the blood, right? But apart from pumping the blood, uh, the blood, we also need to know that the heart can also receive the blood. So so uh, be really really careful, okay? So for the atria. Uh, they receive the blood from the vena cava and the pulmonary veins. So remember in last video, we talked about that uh, once we know the blood flow direction and then we can determine the blood content in different blood vessels. So apart from receiving the blood from the vena cava and pulmonary veins, so the atria, they are also going to pump the blood the, to the ventricles. And for the ventricles, they receive the blood from the atria okay, and then pump the blood to the aorta and to the pulmonary arteries. So uh, the, the same idea, uh, when we know that uh, the blood flow direction, so we can know that the blood content, for example, the oxygen level, the carbon dioxide level, and also the blood glucose level, something like that. So uh, remember, uh, when we talk about the heart chamber, when we talk about the blood vessels, there are some concepts intercorrelated uh, at, at that point. So after the observation, after the terminology, so let's talk about how can uh, what we are going to do. So we are going to compare the muscle wall thickness. For example, either uh, between the atria, uh, the both atria and the both ventricles, and the Second comparison, very common comparison, is that the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Which one of them? They uh, it has the thicker muscle wall. Okay. So uh, remember that after the observation, after we know the terminologies and also different definition, very clear definitions, we can use different guiding questions for us to construct the concepts. So uh, in this part, we have four guiding questions to help us to state and explain the muscle thickness of the maybe uh, atria and the ventricles. So the first uh, idea, the first question is that what is the blood flow direction? So remember that when we talk about the direction, we need to talk about from where to where, but not just all oh, the blood flow direction is to where, okay, to something else, uh, somewhere. And the second question is that how far does the blood travel? So to the adjacent organs or to the distant organs, to the brain, to the liver, to the lungs, to the toes, to the fingertips. Okay, so we need to know that the distance uh, is the blood traveling. And after we know that all oh, the blood they need to travel uh, longer or they need to travel shorter distance, so we know that the blood pressure required. So uh, it's given that higher blood pressure okay, can push the blood to travel a, for a longer distance, right? So after we talk about all oh, the blood pressure, we need higher or we need lower. So we know that the heart muscle thickness, okay, we can compare that, okay? So oh, the thicker muscle wall or the thinner muscle wall. So for, for the simple idea is that thicker 
muscle wall. Okay, it can call, uh, it can generate, it can produce a higher blood pressure to make the blood for uh, traveling a longer distance. So that's the basic concept, basic idea here. So by using these four uh, guiding questions, we know that how can we compare compare the muscle wall thickness between the atria and the uh, ventricle. So first of all, we use the first two guiding questions to construct our logic first. So for the blood flow direction, atria pumps the blood to the adjacent ventricles. Okay, not only for the direction, but we also need to talk about the distance. Okay, adjacent ventricles. So uh, one more thing, remember we are going to compare something. So uh, remember we need to use the complete comparison. So what is the meaning of complete comparison? That means not only for the atria, but also we need to mention the ventricles. So we need the second sentence. Where else? Uh, ventricles run parts to distance lungs and body part. So not only for the direction from where to where, but also the distance. Okay, one is adjacent ventricles, and the other is the distant lungs and body parts. So after we talk about the distance, we know that all the blood pressure required is that a higher blood pressure is required to pump the blood to distant lungs and body parts. So that means in the aorta, in the pulmonary artery, okay, for the ventricles, they need a higher uh, blood pressure to pump the blood. Then that for the adjacent ventricles. So that's that's why. Uh, for the atria, okay, these two atria, they only pump the blood to the uh, adjacent ventricle, very very close, very very short distance. So that's why uh, they don't need a very very high blood pressure. They need blood pressure, but not that high. So the last is that oh, once we, once we know that the both of the ventricles, they need a greater blood pressure to pump the blood through the aorta or through the pulmonary artery so that means the ventricular wall they should be thicker than the atria muscular wall so that's the basic logic for us to construct the concept okay so don't, we don't need to memorize all the things okay using the questions using the definitions okay so we can construct the logic step by step okay so uh so uh, I would like to remind or uh, recall the study skills again. So remember, uh, after the observation, okay, for example, we do the experiment or we, we recall the experiment in the test book. So uh, for the observation, we know some scientific terms and then we know the definition of that or of those scientific terms. So uh, we are going to use different guiding questions or key question to help us to de develop to build up the thinking logics the sequence of thinking okay how we think okay and then we can construct our own knowledge and own concept at all so now uh, that's almost the end of the video so now we have the exercise so the question is that state and explain the distance uh, the difference between the wall of right ventricle and that of the left ventricles okay so for four marks now, so remember that state and explain see in the past video okay we are talking about that uh, question type state and explain so now okay what the first mark okay the, or the first step is that we need to state the difference between the wall of right ventricle and that of the left ventricle first okay and then we are going to explain so it should be one mark for the state and the three marks for the explanations so how can we construct the answer okay how can we explain so we are going to use the four guiding questions okay blood flow direction distance blood pressure required and the thickness of a, a heart muscle required okay so by these four steps okay we are going to construct the logic easily okay so for the uh, logic logical answering sequence is that our blood flow direction distance blood pressure and also the thickness okay so the sequence can be like this for example uh, you need to write the topic sentence first that means okay the answer you need to state the thickness of heart muscle required so that means or oh, which chamber okay right ventricle or left ventricle which one of them they need 
a, a thicker heart muscle. Okay, so that's the topic sentence. And then because okay for the explanation because uh, question one two three all oh, the blood okay they need to travel from where to where how is the distance short or long and then the blood pressure we need high or low okay so that's the first uh, pattern okay of our answer and we have the second pattern that means we can explain all the things first and then in conclusion oh and then we talk about the thickness of heart muscle required okay so first of all oh, we need to talk about the distance direction and the blood pressure required and then finally in conclusion therefore or so okay or oh, right ventricle or left ventricle okay which of them okay uh, it needs a higher or it has high uh, thick thicker heart muscle layer or muscle wall okay so that's the question for uh, this video okay so you can try this question first and write down your own answer okay and then you can check the suggested answer if you have any question please leave your question in the message box or inbox me is also welcome so uh, we meet in the next video bye bye